Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memory. So let's do this. Um, after all those annoying little uh, distractions, um, we can finally move on, hopefully. However you do that. Um, okay, well that goes there, so how the heck do I get out of here? Because all I see is a log. Oh. Um, okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's a log! What is it going to do? Turn into a spaceship and fly us out of here? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Everywhere. I need to look for a friend that I think existed. Okay. <laughs> Bambi! Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't really give a crap about Bambi. It's not really that much of a summon. No. You're... Riku! No. What are you doing here? Not happy to see me? Let me know if I'm getting in the way. You know, of something that's more important. Uh-huh. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Spare the excuses. I bet. That you had all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on! I came all this way looking for you! But you're not anymore, right? Now it's only... Namine that you're looking for. You don't care about me, just like you never cared. At all. About her feelings. Nominees? <laughs> I knew it. Never even gave it a thought, did you? Just cause you wanna see Namine. Sorry. Doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth, Namine doesn't even wanna look at your face. Why not? You should ask your memories. Why Namine disappeared from the islands. Remember that, and you'd know. Did I... Did I do something? Is it my fault? Riku. Go home, Sora. I'll care for Namine. Anyone who goes near her... Goes through me! What's... what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends! Please, Sora. Since when have you ever cared about me? Namine's not the only one who's sick of looking at you. So am I! Riku! Stop it! Okay, so... On to fighting Riku for the first time in this game, because as you probably know, Riku really likes to make reappearances where he tries to beat you over and over again in every game, but other than that, it's okay. Okay, so let's start off by getting Cloud all up and ready, because we kind of need to... Oops. Well, I'm dead. Um, I keep forgetting that I, that I have to press triangle for that. God dang it, stay locked. Okay. I should really keep a slate ready just in case he actually does something, so... Yeah. My god, he has strong cards. Keep doing that, keep doing that, okay. Oh jeez, okay. Good thing he doesn't have any zero cards that I know of so far. Oops, I did not want to do that either. Eh, just in case. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go! Eh, that might help. Ow. Um... Okay, whatever, I, I guess I'll go with these. Ow, ow, ow! Well, you stop that! Hmm. 
Yeah, one healing crate. Blizzard didn't do as much as I was expecting. Okay, well that helped. Whew, okay. That should stall him for a bit. Huh, I could have sworn all sevens were stun impact, but I guess not. Whoa. Yeah, he's not using any slates, I know. Ah, uh, he pushes him back too far. Oh, hey! Awesome! Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Random hitting! I just needed something to give it some more numbers. Oh well, level up! Uh, what is next? Is it CP or health? I think it's CP. Guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, it's CP because, uh, I have it on a random number. Sweet, and then next will be health. Oh, Riku, please wait! Okay, so I guess we go after Riku now, right? Uh, yeah. what do you say? I keep forgetting to talk to these guys, even though I don't really give a crap. But it's good for a story, you know. <laughs> Riku! Where are you? Sora? Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Riku... What happened? Hmm... Sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Riku again. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku? Hold on! The kid! If he's with Riku, he might be in danger. Sora? I know. You're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. But you gotta remember. We are in Castle Oblivion. Why folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends. That's all. So he just forgot? My guess is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why we're sure to get you through this. No need to mow. Jiminy's right. You shouldn't push your friends away. Yeah. Okay. Sora, do you remember our very first promise? Huh? Always smile. smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. We promise to never forget to keep smiling. You're right. Okay, so now that we've had some reference to the first game, we can now move on. So now we have a few more floors to go before we have to fight Riku again, I believe. So let's move on to our next area, which is not going to be, of course, Neverland, but Atlantica, and then Hall Bastion, and then Neverland, because Neverland needs to be on top. So Atlantica first. 
Sadly, we don't have swimming utensils for this, hopefully. It would be kind of weird. Huh, you know, I wonder. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. Well, yep, yeah, we're just walking in water. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Maybe it's like Final Fantasy IX, where if you don't think about it, you can breathe. <laughs> Uh, I, I like it when Quinton was, like, swimming because he thought he was swimming in Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, anyway. It's Ariel with the trident. Why does she have the trident? <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You have the trident, you know. Why does she have the most all-powerful... Oh, this is like, um... The second part to... <laughs> uh... Atlantica, I mean, Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, where it's like... She steals the trident to... No, wait, that doesn't happen. Does it? Hold on. Oh, and then you have Little Mermaid too, where her daughter steals the trident and stuff. Spoilers, that movie's been out for... Maybe 12, 15 years. <laughs> um... Anyway, so we can now move on. And so we have to figure out what's wrong with Ariel, and we... And is that sea urchin? I guess so. Fish! Okay. So, in this place, the music is very happy. Um, I think it's playing, if I remember correctly, it's, uh... Down here in the deep blue sea, or something like that, under the sea. Crap. Okay, I pressed X. I don't know why I did that. Oh well, um, so first off, these little jelly guys are lightning based, so don't use any lightning I believe. Uh, they do cast it, I know that. Um, these guys are torpedoes and water pretty much, they, they're pretty much the fastest things you'll ever see. Oh yeah, and spooks are here because technically they can't breathe. I mean, why do I keep calling them spooks, what are they called? Um, oh well. Those ghost thingies right there. So let's just destroy these guys because I can. I believe the hardest ones... Oh yeah, the Dark Balls also exist here for some reason. Oh my god! It's a Key of Rewards card! Right! Um, When you get to this point in the game, uh, most of these floors will actually give you Key of Rewards, which you can use to go back and open up doors. Which is probably what I'm going to do if I don't if I have a lot of time left over. Uh of course, you know, it's taking a while to kill these guys. Anyway, and so let's just do this. I don't know why I did that actually. Well, I killed them. I guess that's something. Awesome. And what do I get for this one? The Guarded Trove. The Guarded Trove is pretty much a large buy will be in the front of the, um, Treasure Trust. Blah, compounding card. So pretty much it's compounding except, uh, if you rain out of them, then you could get Guarded Trove, which still does the same thing, except that there's going to be a fight to get to it. To get to whatever enemy you need to get to. This time, let's make sure to turn that on. Um, anyway. I believe you can only have one key of rewards at a time, so make sure you use them before you move on. Which is probably what I'm going to have to do. Of course, not right now, because I need to clear out this room. Show you the new enemies. I don't think there's anything new. Otherwise, there'd be a giant lightning fish somewhere. Can't seem to find it, though. Um, is it in this? No, I don't remember. Wait, yeah, I do remember in the original GBA version. So, does it not exist or does it exist? Let's let's hopefully find out about that. Sorry, I, I want to use Blizzica. <laughs> and I missed. Dang it.
Eh, that works. Um, where the heck? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was trying to find the end of that. Um, Moogle Room! Awesome. We can use that. Uh, anything up here? Oh yeah, there's that guy. Which I missed. Dang it! Okay, whatever. And... Doesn't seem Cloud's killing them all on his own this time. I need to work on that. Which means I'll, I'll need more Cloud cards, probably. And to do that, I'll need to grind with that as well. Instead of just unlocking all the rooms, I also need to grind for more Cloud. Is there anything in this? Oh, bubbles. Okay. <laughs> bubbles from Nemo, Finding Nemo. It's one of the funniest jokes in that movie. Uh, is there anything other than these guys? Because I kind of don't want to... Okay, yeah. And... Okay. Oh, hey, there he is! Okay, yeah. Giant lightning fish. He casts thunder, I know that. I think it's thunder, actually. So, you want to make sure you hit him. Uh, in the first game, you'll remember him by how, when he comes in, he goes super fast because there's three of these mermaid dudes underneath him, uh, guiding him along, pretty much. Huh, that did actually pretty good damage to it. He even pushed it back to the corner. So let's just kill him, and... There we go. What do we get out of it? A Looming Darkness card, which is probably one of the better cards in this game. Also, experience in this place is pretty good. I could've even settled for this one as my last place. But, oh well. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Oh, okay, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Good thing these enemies don't have zero cards yet. Later on, I believe the enemies do use zero cards randomly. They also randomly have really high cards like nines and eights. Making the game so much harder. <laughs> and... Well, that guy's over with. So let's just kill this guy here. Oh, t thanks for flo floating right into that idiot. White room. Is that it? Can I move on? Okay. Uh, there's a bag here, or pot, or whatever that is. So let's move on to opening our first Moogle room. And we can use one of the ones, because it's that love, huh? And when you open a guarded trove, it's impossible to get to the chest with out meaning to kill the enemy, so don't think about that. Um, what the heck is breakable in here? Just boxes and stuff? I guess so. There's no, like, bubbles or anything. Oh, there's a pot over here. Oh, hey, Crab Claw. Uh, I might as well show you that as well. Wrong button. Start. Okay. Review Dex. It's this one. Here it is. Um, wow, its recovery rate has a star on it. It must be really easy to use. It's probably a fast Keyblade then. It's just as strong as the Nine Wishes, which is... Just as strong as... huh. Some way better than the other one. The... Olympia. Um, anyway. It's also a short Keyblade in realisticness. It also... Spews out bubbles in the first game. <laughs> when you hit an enemy. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, hey! Advanced card packs. Okay. So, advanced card packs will give you more advanced cards, for instance. Uh, Cloud does not show up in the first set, which is the Leaf ones. He shows up in this one and up. So, we want to actually open up a 350 costing one. And there's Cloud, first, first go, and it's a really high one, too. It also gives you really high versions of those cards. This is Mediums, which is medium luck on getting any good cards. Uh, I believe it's mostly just like Gravity and Genie, yeah. Sadly, that one doesn't give you anything. Uh, same with this one. Very, very good cards in the 300. Like, for instance, there's an 8 right here, yeah. Okay. Could care less about the 6s, but, um, 
It also gives you really strong Keyblades, especially later on in the game when you eventually get Ultima Weapon, hopefully. So, it's time to show you a key of the re rewards card. I like to do these uh, in order of uh, world. So, for instance, our first world we'd want to go to is Traverse Town. So, let's do that. And you'll first get to see... Oh yeah, it doesn't actually do anything special when you go to a different room. It just puts you right here. And then, you know, Goofy and Donald's still there. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through these rooms the fastest way possible, which is literally... I'm just going to open up the crap... a crap ton of, uh... Rooms that uh, I can break through. So, let's just go... Luckily I have all these blue cards, so, you know. A level 1 Calm Bounty card, might as well use it. I don't want to use the Requiems if I can decide on that, because I can easily get Calm Bounties and Moogle Rooms. They're actually very easy to get. But, most of the time in those roulettes and stuff, they don't give you the uh, card you're looking for when it comes to uh, Requiems. I've only seen like one or two Requiems. The other ones I've actually gone from battling, believe it or not. And those are just random occurrences, so it's best to just, you know, go through these rooms very quickly. Uh, and if you already know, the combat cards will not give you any of the good cards from the other places. It should be right there. Oh, okay, I remember. It's, uh, you have to loop around, so let's do that. And a three. I could open the guard trove one and, uh, just go around the enemy and not open it. Unless the chest is in front of the door, then I'm pretty much screwed because then I'd have to fight the weak-ass enemy. I just don't want to waste that much time because I'm already going over right now. And a 5. Sure, why not? <laughs> so great that I'm getting all these 1s and 3s of the uh, Twilight Kingdom key, whatever. Which, you know, they should have named one of the Keyblades uh, the Twilight Key or something, you know, for the Twilight Zone and stuff. Um... Next. Okay. Uh, let's open it with an 8 because it, I have two of those. I might have to open a Moogle Room. Yeah, I'll probably have to open up like one or two Moogle Rooms. Open up this one. Potion! Yay! Um... Okay, let's see what else I have. I have a random one, and I have a lot of nines, actually, so... Actually, you know, I can actually use a nine because... Uh, I have four of those, so it's okay. I... really don't care. Um... Give me something kind of good, at least, okay? Okay, that's really good, actually. Um... Here it is. Okay, so you have to... Oh, right, I already filled it up. So I can just open it up. So, key rewards card. It disappears after use. And now I can get another key of rewards card. And I can open up another place. If uh, I find anyone I'm grinding in Atlantica, uh, I'm just gonna open them and then tell you later. Because I want to open up as many as possible. Yeah. I've never been able to 100% the uh, key of rewards rooms. Yeah. Uh, the best way to get them is actually at the very end of the game, but I just got lucky right now, so I might as well open it. And you'll notice it's a very special looking chest, so let's just break it open and see what's inside. It is the Lionheart, and now from now on, the second tier card packs will give you Lionheart. If, they're, if they include attack cards, of course. And Lionheart, I believe, is one of the strongest ones in this game that aren't uh, Diamond Dust and the other one. Wait, do those exist in this place? I don't think they do, actually. Um... Yeah, here it is. B-A, so... It's the, the strongest one so far in terms of attack, and has a pretty good recovery rate. So, yeah. Too bad it's low numbered, so I'm not going to put it on yet. I will, however, have to review my deck over, because if you notice... If you notice... My card deck is... I have uh, 40 over right now on points. I can actually put like three or more, three-ish cards in there. Just notice, that has a different... 
See you again? Huh. That's that's interesting. I didn't know that. Um I wonder if all of the rooms do that. So let's just go on over to the top of this staircase and teleport back to Atlantica, open up a save room, and save my game. And then grind the crap out of those Moogle rooms that I have. I forgot, it does like a snake pattern when going up. So I was going to go to the top left, but it doesn't do the read from right to left thing. <laughs> it goes right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. So, you know. Oh, I have to open this room again? Does that mean the enemy showed up? Yeah, they're back. Uh, I, I'm not gonna bother. Sorry. <laughs> um. Requiem. <laughs> Under the sea. God dang, I hate that song. Actually, I love it. What am I saying? I love. Actually, I actually like all of the songs in Little Mermaid. It's just the movie itself was kind of boring in a way. Like, I. No, actually, it wasn't boring. It was actually pretty good. What was it about Little Mermaid I hated? You know, actually, I don't think I did hate the movie. Hmm. I think it has the best uh, song choice in terms of uh, happy, happy, joy, joy kind of songs, you know? <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's it for today. Next time on Let's Play uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories, I'll have a lot more levels, most likely, and a lot more um, things. Huh, this only- oh, no, there it is. I was about to say you only had three, which meant the Q of the Rewards card wasn't there. But never mind, that's right. It's one of these three. Because this one is obviously the key of the beginnings. Anyway. So, see you all then on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories. Yeah. <laughs>